In the event of a mobilization launched by Russia against Ukraine, it continues to pressure the people living in the occupied territories to participate in the referendum. Although the Ukrainian people are showing resistance in the face of this situation, the Russian forces seem to be very resistant in this sense. The Russian leader, who has stated that he will declare martial law as a result of the referendum vote, continues to ignore the protests made by the people of Russia. Especially with the direction of Russian soldiers and the Ukrainian people, who were encouraged to vote at home, are extremely uncomfortable with this situation. On the other hand, Lithuanian radio and television Anusoska, especially Russia, declares martial law in the border areas. I don't believe this is a rumor. Whether it is on the Ukrainian border or not, Russia will declare martial law in a short time and seize the territorial integrity of Ukraine, he did in his discourses. In addition, Anusoska referendums are continuing unabated in Luhansk, Donetsk, Kherson, and Zaporizhia, adding that in fact, Russian intervention in Ukraine will take place much sooner than expected. In the event of Russia's recently launched this mobilization President Joe Biden and President Joseph Borrell, the European Union's foreign policy that reduces Shadow's Mestriad referendum took place, and to be fair, standing at the point of the referendum that violates the Charter of the United Nations doubt often lives on this game, and a fake has announced that a vote will be announced as. He has often stressed the point that these votes taken from the Ukrainian people as a result of pressure and tyranny will have no validity whatsoever. On the other hand, during the referendum debate, the U.S. Secretary of State also expressed his thoughts on this issue in an interview with the news channel 60 Minutes. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken, in any case, the Russian military is trying to convince the Ukrainian people to take their land. Voting continues to be carried out with this manipulation. This should not be recognized as such, and the Ukrainian people should continue their resistance to reclaim their land. He expressed his thoughts on this issue in the clearest way. Moreover, he called on the Ukrainian people not to remain silent about the invasions, saying that they have the right to take back their land. He also often focused on the extent to which Ukraine has developed both its military and political power over the years, congratulating them on their achievements in this regard. Vladimir Putin mobilizes 300,000 reserve troops to Ukraine. Vladimir Putin continues to maintain his effectiveness in the region by recently sending 300,000 reserve troops to Ukraine. The protests in some regions of the countries, especially in large cities, show that there are strong reactions in Russia and the surrounding region. Countless Russian soldiers, who occupy a huge place in the Russian army, continue to change the course of the war. On the other hand, in the event of mobilization, the regulations prepared and signed by the Russian leader are quite heavy. In such a way that the candidates who can participate in the war outside of the voluntary basis are sent to the field in question. Although there were great reactions to the sending of older soldiers to the field, the Russian leader often emphasized that all examinations of soldiers were carried out due to their age and that there was no obstacle to this situation. In particular, the soldiers, who have been sentenced to 10 years in prison for soldiers who refuse to join the army or run away from the army, are trying to sweat the country by reacting to these severe conditions. As a result of this situation towards the surrounding countries, air ticket prices are also going up a lot. Although the images of drunken soldiers clashes, especially those caught on news channels and videos of Russian soldiers, attract great attention, the farewells of Russian soldiers who were called to the conflict with their families also attract attention as emotional moments. The Russian media organization Medusa, on the other hand, stressed that they should pay attention to Russia's mandatory call for soldiers in particular and that the country's borders should be closed due to these prohibitions. With this measure, which will be implemented in a short time, Russian men will not be able to go outside and will be encouraged to participate in the mobilization on the territory of Ukraine with mandatory orientation. Russian state news agency TASS denies martial law. The Russian state news agency TASS stated that there is no decision taken by the government yet for the Russian martial law, which has been going on for a long time and has caused great controversy, and there is no basis for it. Also in Washington, DDAP, the War Research Institute, a sea-based defense organization, stated that Putin's orders to mobilize will probably not work, stating that this goal will not go anywhere. 
the organization emphasized that this situation is not only an imposition on the Ukrainian people, but also that there is pressure on the Russian people. In such a way that the people are never pro-war, but the Russian army is included in mobilization except on a voluntary basis. Although this effort is trying to be sanctioned with martial law and prison sentences, it leads to protests in a large sense. With the adoption of the September 21st decision, it is felt that in the event of this mobilization, the human power will be felt more and both social and political costs will increase enormously. So much so that this situation will bring losses one after another rather than gains, significantly lowering both the economic, political and political power of the country. Another report on the issue is that the attempt to mobilize a large number of Russian troops in the war launched by Russian leader Vladimir Putin over Ukraine will not be able to overcome the main difficulties. Although Putin is known for his trust in China and India in particular during the mobilization process, the countries in question stated that Russia should end the war. This war, which has been going on for months, is not approved by the authorities of China and India, as in many countries. In the same way, the United Nations General Assembly continues to increase its pressure on Russia, while other countries often focus on the lack of support for the Moscow administration. Only one country supported Russia's mobilization over Ukraine. Having a close relationship with us for many years, and especially in the defense industry cooperation between India and Russia and Ukraine on the need to end this tension of standing, we often said that we are for peace on which side we're on. We are always in favor of diplomacy in order to avoid a crisis. Of course, the Ukrainian people will have the instinct to protect the integrity of their country. While making statements, only one country has taken a place next to the people of Russia since the first day of the war. Colonel Abdullah Maiga, who was in the transition period in Mali, the United Nations, and cooperation with Moscow is efficient and effective with a surprising statement by declaring that Russian mercenaries logically that would profit from this war and be made to support management in terms of security by specifying the military in favor of the war he emphasized that the Russian army would take place. Maiga, who holds the United States and the West responsible for all the events, stated that UN security should withdraw all its troops from Ukraine as a result of the vote, and the abstention vote is against Russia. Russian troops made statements in this just war that are far from diplomacy, worthy of logical consideration. Emphasizing that the balance policy should be observed, Maiga argued that Ukraine's military power, socio-economic power, and economy cannot be enough to stand up to Russia, stressing that Russia has extremely strategic and effective plans.